When it came to elementary school activities, recess was a highlight of the day. Playing on a playset like this one was something that I looked forward to, but for some students in the Twin Falls School District, joining their friends on a playset can be a challenge. But now, one elementary school is raising funds for a new playset, allowing access for everyone. That's the biggest part, is a lot of this playground will have a ramp that allows her to go up with her wheelchair and be pushed around. Um, and can access some of the bigger things. This is Sarah Egan and her daughter Zella, a first grader at Sawtooth Elementary School. Zella has cerebral palsy, a disease that limits her to a wheelchair, making it hard to join other kids on the playset at her school. But Sawtooth's PTO is raising funds for a new playset, one that is ADA approved and could give access to more than just the students at Zella's school. Having that style of playground and something that's accessible to everybody and could benefit Zella but also benefit the other little kids gives them an opportunity to be with their peers and to, to play and enjoy the, the normal day-to-day -day activities that most kids do at school. I'm here at Sunway Soccer Complex at the only ADA approved playground in the city of Twin Falls. As you can see, there are ramps and more accessible space for kids with disabilities and soon Sawtooth Elementary could see a playground just like this one. What we want the community to know that this isn't just a playground from 8 to 3, Monday through Friday. It's available after hours and on weekends for the community and not just the students at the school. Sarah hopes there will be more ADA approved play sets at elementary schools in Twin Falls and the community will rally around Sawtooth Elementary to meet their goal. I believe in the near future there will be other opportunities to fundraise and, and whatnot for other schools. If I can be a voice for somebody else, I will, I will gladly accept that opportunity and take it take it as far as I can. For more information on donating to this fundraiser, head to our website, idahonews6.com. Isaiah Sharp, Idaho News 6.